Hey, hey, today is Monday, May the 11th. Well, this is the last one, the last of our daily devotions. It has been a joy and an honor of mine to be able to be with you every single day these last two months as we've been in this pandemic together. To hear God's word and to connect, I have just been uplifted and just have so enjoyed the comments and, and just seeing how, how we've all pulled together in the faith through these difficult times. Last night, the church board and myself met to discuss reopening our church. And this upcoming Sunday, we will hold in-person worship activities for the first time in two months. Um, expect to see a letter put in the mail today, so hopefully you'll receive it by Wednesday, outlining and detailing the different things that we will be doing in order to you know, safeguard our members, that we are coming back, but we want to be careful and we want to make sure that we are doing everything we possibly can as we worship God, but also keeping ourselves safe. I wanted to save my favorite Bible verse for last. Of all the, the Bible verses that's found in, in God's scriptures, my favorite is the promise that Jesus gives his disciples and he gives to us as well. He makes a promise to us that of all the promises that we read in the Bible, the promise that Jesus makes, that when we get ready to breathe our last breath, when we get ready to say goodbye to this world and we say goodbye to loved ones and we get ready to enter God's eternal kingdom, Jesus promises us, he promises you that when you are ready to leave this world and to see God face to face, Jesus promises that he himself, Jesus, will come back and will take you by the hand and will lead you into that eternal kingdom. Now, to me, that promise that, you know, you hear about there being angels in the room as someone gets ready to, to leave this life, or you hear stories of people seeing loved ones, and I find those uplifting, but more than anything else, I love this promise that Jesus gives us, that Jesus will be there guiding us into God's eternal kingdom. It reminds me, I'm a father of two, and one of the hardest things I've done as a parent up to this point was dropping my kids off for preschool or kindergarten. You know, can you relate to this? I, I'm not good at this because my kids in particular, and I think of Malachi, my oldest, when we first brought him to kindergarten and he knew he was going to have to stay there away from home for the whole day, he lost it. And I just remember these tears running down his face and I couldn't do it. I, I told Corey, you know, I don't have it inside of me. You know, it, could you please do this? And fortunately, Corey was the, the parent that would drop Kai off in, in kindergarten most mornings. However, Benny, Benny became my responsibility because Benny's preschool was along my route to work going down the Grafton. And so it was my responsibility to drop Benny off at preschool every day on my way down to work. And I'll tell you, little Benny, I love him. He's a daddy's boy and he just loves me to death. He still does. You know, I'm not sure when they grow out of that, but he still loves me and he still looks up to me. But I remember, you know, little Benny being four or five, and I remember him sitting right back there in the car seat and every single day as we pulled up to his preschool and he saw you know, his school before him and I could just tell he'd get really quiet and he'd get really emotional and I knew that he didn't want to say goodbye to me. And we'd walk into his classroom and we'd hang his little coat up and we'd hang his backpack up and he'd lose it. You know, tears would go going down his face and he'd give me the, the biggest hug and you know, such a big hug that I don't think if he had the strength, he wouldn't let go of me. He would just cling to me and tears coming down his face. And, oh, that was hard. You know, knowing that I had to leave, you know, I, it wasn't good for me to stay there all day there with him. That this was a moment of growing, a moment for, for him to realize that he would be safe without me. That... This was a chance for him to learn and to make friends. And, you know, this is life. And this is a part of growing up. And I remember, though, every single day as I left him, I said, buddy, you know, I'll be back. 
I'm gonna be back later this afternoon and when I pick you up you know we'll be together again and you know those words even though you know he still had those tears coming down his face I could tell they were reassuring to him and it reminds me of this promise that Jesus gives us and it comes to us from John 14 and Jesus is he's getting ready to go to the cross and he knows that his time with the disciples is is drawing short and he's trying to tell them, just as he tells us, that even though we are not with Jesus right now, the time will come when we will see Jesus face to face. And Jesus will come and he will take us by the hand and he will, he will lead us to, to be with him for all eternity. So, for John, so from John 14, we hear Jesus say, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, what have I told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may also be where I am did you catch that? The promise, the, the promise that I love more than any else in scripture, Jesus will take us by the hand when that moment comes for you and you get ready to take your last breath, that Jesus will be right there. There will be nothing to fear. You will know what lies before you as you see Jesus face to face. Now, as a, a dad picking up Benny at the end of the day, after he'd been in preschool and after I'd been working, the best part of my day was picking him up and I still remember you know walking through his preschool door and he would just look to the door and when he saw it was me there to pick him up just the joy and the excitement and the love and he couldn't help but to run right to the door and just give me the biggest hug and he was just so excited to be with me once again friends in Christ I know that's that's our story as well. And we are not with Jesus right now, but I know that that day is coming. And you know, it's a day to, to look forward to. And it's a day that, that Jesus promises us it's, it's coming. And Lord, we look forward to that day. And we know when that day comes that you will, that you will be there and you'll take us by the hand. And for that, we are so very thankful. So thank you, Lord. That concludes the devotion for today. I just want to thank you, everybody that's been watching these devotions for these last couple months. You've met the world to me. Um, many church members in Grafton have been watching these on a day-by-day -day basis, but you know, I've had friends and family and, and church members and Pierce and church members and Zion Pickroll. Thank you for being a part of this, this journey, this voyage, these last couple months with me. May you be well, may you be blessed. And may you find some joy in the day that God has made for you today. Amen.